Mm. Oh, stop. 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 So, ayahan. So, available. Ab- available. Oh. <laughs> Ang tanong kaya ko ba? <laughs> so, tingnan natin. Anong model to, bro? We're here. Actually, ikaw talaga ang hinahanap ko because a lot of our cops, our kapatid natin, is looking for new cars. Most of our followers at when in Halifax are newcomers. Some of them are currently student here at NSCC or Cape Breton or all over Canada. But the question now is, pwede mo mumili ng kotse ang isang newcomer like work permit, student? So, give us some tips. But bago natin magbigay ng tips, Sino ang kausap ko ngayon? Si Ryan, one of the youngest na na-meet ko ha. Pinakabatang na-meet kong car sales agent dito sa Nova Scotia. immigration story mo? So basically po, noong 2013, dumating po kami dito mm-hmm. ng mga kapatid ko. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was 13 years old po and then mm-hmm. I did part of elementary here, junior high, high school, and college. So halos dito ka na lumaki talaga. Basically. Po, yes. basically. And that is around 9, 2000? 2013. 2013. Grabe, yes. no? So, so over 10 years na din po dito sa Canada. Sa Canada. Tagal and generally speaking, how was it for you? Like, dito ka na lumaki, how was it? How's the adjustment? Meron ba? I mean, there's lots of ano, ups and downs for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, I would say the hardest part, yung language barrier mm-hmm. from speaking Tagalog and not mm-hmm. learning any English as a young kid. It was mm-hmm. tough in the beginning, mm-hmm. but na catch up ko naman yon yeah. through these past few years. Yes. And right now, I'm in a sales industry. Yeah. Na puro mostly talking then. Yeah. So I'm yeah. grateful na madami ako natutunan dito. Awesome. But can you still understand Tagalog? Kasi Tagalog si Kap Joey. Yes po. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, no, that's Ryan. So Ryan, tell us more about yourself because as I mentioned kanina, Ikaw yung na-meet kong youngest Filipino sales rep dito sa Halifax. So, hindi naman pa ako palaging bumibili ng kotse, but I met a lot of businesses and si Ryan so far yung youngest at 22 years old. Yes po. Actually, nag-start kayo dito nito eh. I uh, started sales po when I was 21 po. 21. So, just imagine that. So, at a very young age, um, ikaw yung na-meet kong youngest. Tell us more about ano yung... Paano ka napasok dito sa industry and what is your passion or or advocacy? Kasi you mentioned a lot of things like, Kap, nandito ako para tulungan yung kababayan. Tell us more about that. So basically, ang nga po, uh, madami pong kababayan dito na tumutulong sa mm-hmm. naghahanap ng kotse, mm-hmm. especially newcomers po. Mm-hmm. And they have no idea mm-hmm. kung paano bumili, ano yung mga requirements mm-hmm. na kailangan. Mm-hmm. So I help them out. Mm-hmm. Sinasabi ko po sa kanila na when buying a car, you need to do your research first. Yes. And second of all, yung, yung budget. Yes. I mean, syempre, madami na may gusto mm-hmm. ng mga gandang kotse. Yes. Pero at the same time, mm-hmm. andun pa din po yung budget. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think that's very important as a newcomer. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ryan, for the big tip now. Do your research and also understand your budget. You need to have a budget. Typically, um, what is the ideal budget for, let's say, a student? Technically, what would be the budget, the ideal budget? I would say po, it, I mean, it depends on the situation po ng tao. Mm-hmm. As a newcomer po, uh, bu- mostly budget po nila nasa 150 to 220, ganyan mm-hmm. po, bi-weekly. Um, bi-weekly. And mm-hmm. for like, PR naman po, they can go a little bit higher. Mm-hmm. And then, like between... 200 to 250 by weekly po ganyan. And also, Ryan, one thing that you mentioned is you need to do your research before buying cars. Yes po. Ano yung mga tips mo uh, in, in, in the research? So basically, I would say po yung knowing the engine size ng vehicle mm-hmm. and then making sure kung all-wheel drive ba or mm-hmm. front-wheel drive mm-hmm. or in some other cases, rear-wheel drive. So mm-hmm. in the back po, yun. Mm-hmm. So meron tayo ditong mga na-mention na Front, rear, then dapat yung Indian. Dito ba sa Nova Scotia, most especially if you're a newcomer, syempre, this is your first time to drive sa snow, dito sa ibang weather, di ba? Ano yung recommended? Recommended. I 
Ah, uh, kailangan ba four wheel drive, dapat ba SUV, dapat ba turbo, dapat ba? So ano yung mga dapat i-consider weather-wise? I would say po all wheel drive is most preferable. Mm-hmm. Pero all wheel drive is a bit more more I would say more pricey mm-hmm. compared po sa mga rear or front. Mm-hmm. So like all wheel drive po is really good for the winter. Mm-hmm. So no problem po no problem po yun. You can mm-hmm. just put an all, all season tire mm-hmm. and you should be good for the winter. Mm-hmm. Pero mas prefer pa din po ang mm-hmm. winter tires on the vehicle. Mm-hmm. Pero um, all wheel drive nga po is really good in mm-hmm. all kind of season. Mm-hmm. And I think right now we're outside of Carson Pumakap and right now dito sa atin sa tabi natin we have the BMW M2. Yeah, BMW M2. Pero ang tanong, ito ba yung advisable for a newcomer? Um hindi po to advisable for a newcomer. <laughs> Advice ko pa for a newcomer is checking the budget po and then I would say like a mini SUV or um Uh, sedan po. Yes. And I think this is one way uh, I really like Ryan because Ryan is very straightforward po mga kap. Most especially pag newcomer ka, syempre nandun yung, yung alam mo yung energy and excitement mo to buy a new car. Pag nakita mo to, kaya mo itong makuha. Definitely kaya mo itong makuha. Pero advisable for Ryan, it's not because real talk po mga kap, you're a newcomer. Yes po. And nasa puso ni Ryan tumulong, di ba? Real talk tayo. Uh, as a newcomer, it's not advisable. But if you want, why you, not? You, you still can. Yeah, di ba? Exactly po. <laughs> yeah, dito sa Canada, kung kaya, why not, di ba? What are the preparations in terms of getting a car? Because right now, they understand, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my research if this car is comfortable, is my budget is comfortable, and at the same time, yung yung all-wheel drive, as I mentioned by Raya, na kailangan mo i-consider kasi mag- may snow. Now, after all the consideration, research, budget, what's the next step? Getting financing. So, let's say, Paul, let's start with a newcomer. Mm-hmm. So, newcomer po, mas medyo madaming requirements ang kailangan. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would need the driver license, mm-hmm. a copy of work permit mm-hmm. po, and then, let's say, na kunyari may, it's better to have 2,000 to 3,000 down po mm-hmm. para po mas better mm-hmm. tignan sa application mm-hmm. for the lenders mm-hmm. and get a higher chance of approval. Mm-hmm. Yan. So at least you know po mga po what are the preparation. I think tagpi-tagpi natin the first step is do your research which car na gusto mong I mean, it drive If you want the BMW M2, why not Coconut 3? <laughs> Pero for me, also, uh, nandito ako sa Canada for almost 7 years, I would say, you know, budget-wise. Yes. Do your budget. Diba? And the next step is budgeting. So, kaya ba ng budget as a newcomer? Huwag kayo ma-overexcite. But the financially, if capable, why not? Look for Ryan. Ryan will help you. And good thing with Ryan, it's very straightforward. Real talk po mga kap. Sabihan ka talaga kung anong dapat mong gamin as a newcomer. And the second thing is the preparation of the documents. Driver license is very important. And also, a down payment. Yes. Which is the 3,000, 1,000 to... Like 1,000 to 3,000 po ganyan. Mas uh-huh. better. Much, much better. So, this is just one to one way of, of uh, also one of the common questions that we have, Ryan, is as a newcomer, work permit, kakarating ko lang pero work permit po ako, pwede po akong kumuha ng BMW M2? Pwede po as long na kaya po sa budget nyo and then mostly you can support, you can support it and medyo like higher down payment po higher down payment. Yes po. But technically kung lower version like I'm not saying lower version like uh, anong budget yan? Anong range yan? Pag sinabi mong saktong-sakto lang around 30, 20 I would say like 20 to 25,000 po na car. Opo. Uh-huh. So yun. So I think that's one thing that you need to consider. Kung gusto mo ng BMW, hindi kita pipigilan ba, <laughs> 'di ba? <laughs> Bakit? Why not, not 'di ba? If this is your dream car, why not, 'di ba? But again, real talk po mga kap, go to yung budget friendly, but there's a lot of options dito sa Carson's from um, ano yung price range ng Carson? You what what's the cheapest that you can remember? The cheapest we can have right now is 14,900 po mm-hmm. na car. Mm-hmm. And the most expensive we have right now is I believe 500,000 mm-hmm. na, 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 na kotse. So there's a lot of, what, we were, what we're saying po mga kap, there's a variety of cars that you can select and iba't ibang brand na pinapangarap mo and one thing na gusto ko dito sa Canada po mga kap, generally speaking is it's, it's easy to, to buy a car. The only thing is you just need to show to the lenders to the car dealers that you are capable to pay. Yes. ba? Diba? And and I just want to also grab this opportunity to ask questions kasi maraming mga nagtatanong, "Kap, 
newcomer po ako, wala pa po akong established credit score, it really matters? Like, when you're applying, kailangan ba ninyo ng credit score? I mean, basically, when you come po, tapos nag-apply ka, most people, as a newcomer, they usually, mm-hmm. first thing they get is a credit card. Mm-hmm. So, they use that po, mm-hmm. and then, they just need to pay it off, bayaran ng bayaran, mm-hmm. habang nabibuild up yung credit. Mm-hmm. And, one of the main thing naman, after a credit card, they buy a cell phone. Mm-hmm. So, minsan siguro yung nagsasabi sa inyo sa sales ng cell phone, mm-hmm. hindi alam na ako nabibuild up ng credit mm-hmm. or not. Mm-hmm. So, nabibuild up din po yun mm-hmm. as long na you pay on time mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. And next step is, I would say a car. Mm-hmm. Kasi po, let's say you have a car, an auto loan, and then you pay it every month on time mm-hmm. or advance. Mm-hmm. At in the long term, Nag- let's say... establish ka ng credit score mo. Yes, na-establish mo yung credit mm-hmm. score mo and then pwede ka mag-upgrade for a better car when you pag, once na maging PR ka mm-hmm. and then let's say in the future you wanna get a house yeah there's a better approval mm-hmm. on that kasi mm-hmm. you have an hist- a payment history awesome and I think that's a very powerful mm-hmm. tips Ryan that you're sharing with us because as a, as a newcomer parang ang hirap to establish diba it's, it's, it's hard to start and right now if you're watching this pumakap build your credit score I mean Ryan also one of the best tips is get a phone and bayaran mo ng maayos or if you're capable to buy a second hard car and bayaran mo ng maayos you're also building your credit score and then one day if you have a good credit score you can buy a brand new one yes po. na pwedeng maganda yung interest rate or buy your home here in Canada right exactly. so there is a lot of opportunities for makap it's not just buying car and and um, na gusto ko lang na magarang kotse it's not just, uh, it's, it's not just pumakap na oh gusto ko ng kotse hindi po you're building your credit score you know for the future dreams malay mo mansion ang gusto niya diba? isang BMW M2 and then isang mansion you don't know right <laughs> anything is possible diba <laughs> Thank you very much, Ryan, for your time. And really appreciate po yung mga shiner, mga informations, and really appreciate the tips. As we mentioned, marami tayong mga tips na, 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 na bigay ni Ryan. Share, uh, sharing is caring. Ika nga, di ba? So one thing na na-learn or nakuha ko with Ryan is do your research, understand your budget, and plus, talk to Ryan. And saan ka makukuha? Sa 550 Wilmer Road, Dartmouth pa. Ayan. Carson Exports. Carson Exports. And of course, may number ka and my social media. Meron pa. Yan. So, ano yung number so, na pwede kang i-reach out? Uh, you can reach me at 902-818-4428. Mm-hmm. Or you can look for my page in Facebook, Facebook Ryan's Auto Sale. Yeah. Quick question lang. I just want to understand kasi na-meet na kita and you really help kababayans natin. Uh, all over Nova Scotia. Kung na, hindi lang sa Halifax, ah, all over Nova Scotia. So either you're in New Brunswick, you want, you want to buy a car, reach out with Ryan. Ryan can help you, right? Yes, we offer delivery po. And mm. pretty much all, anywhere in Canada. Yeah. Yes po. Yeah. So re- reach out with Ryan. One thing lang po, an- ano yung pinaka-significant story na na-experience mo isang kababayan natin bumili, ano yung pinaka-significant or uh, memorable story that you can share? I would say po, nung first time ko mag-deliver, mm-hmm. may mm-hmm. si Kuya Anthony Madilar po. Mm-hmm. So, matagal na po siya, nag- 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 matagal na po siya nag-chat sa akin, nag-reach out po siya mm-hmm. na gusto daw po ng CHR. Uh-huh. Eh, sakto po, may dumating po kami mm-hmm. recently, mm-hmm. Uh, 2021 CHR po, low mm-hmm. mileage and everything, basically brand new. Mm-hmm. So, we went all the process and everything, uh-huh. and then we delivered po namin sa kanila five hours away. Wow, de ba? Ganun ka dedicated si si Ryan. Um, if, if you're buying a car, highly recommended Ryan. Um, the number will be on the description below, or you can. I will just post the social media of Ryan. Reach out po makap. Um, I think one thing po makap that I learned for seven years dito sa Halifax, Nova Scotia, buying a car po makap. It's not just buying a car. You need someone or guidance pumakap that you can ask na magkakatiwalaan mong tatanungan. And, and I really see yung, yung, yung puso, <laughs> puso talaga no, <laughs> Tagalog na Tagalog no, yung puso ni Ryan with helping kababayans pumakap. Very sincere and I really appreciate Ryan. So if you are thinking to buy car here pumakap in Nova Scotia or Atlantic pumakap, reach out with Ryan and Ryan will, will help you pumakap. Isa sa pinakamaganda dito sa Halifax, Nova Scotia or sa buong Canada pumakap, pwede natin i-test drive ang dream car ninyo. ba? So, eto hindi ko naman itong dream car pero, bakit hindi? Sabi ka na, no? kung bibigyan tayo ng pagkakataon, I'll buy this car 
Kasi hindi pa ako marunong mag-drive bisikleta lang po ako. So, bigyan na! <laughs> Na-joke lang. Pero, I just want to highlight one thing po, Makap. Dito sa Canada, you can test drive literally the car. Yes, pa. You have the opportunity to feel, you know, and drive the car. What are the requirements? Gusto kong i-test drive itong kotse. What will be the requirements? So, ang requirements po is just make sure you have a valid full driver license. Mm-hmm. That's all you need po. Okay. And then, pag sinayo yung test drive, sino magdadrive? Yung agent ba? Or mismo yung bibili? Yung customer mismo. Para ma-feel yung kotse, <laughs> make sure na gusto yung kotse, and then, ma- paano, ma-feel niya yung driving, mm-hmm. pretty much everything on the vehicle. Mm-hmm. So, the reason why po natatawa ko dahil sa Pilipinas, hindi mo madaramdaman or madadrive ang kotse. Um, palaging ano lang, uh, nakaupo ka lang, okay. diba? tingin-tingin ka lang. But dito, pwede mong i-drive. And let's go! Yan, magbang tatas drive tayo. Diyos ko po, wala na akong pangbayad. Enjoy! <laughs> Ayan po mga Cavs. So, kakatapos na natin i-test drive itong BMW M2 with Ryan po mga Cavs. And we learn a lot from Ryan po mga Cavs. Just want to sum up everything po mga Cavs, no? Before we end this video, number one, thank you very much Ryan for giving us your valuable time for sharing for sharing some tips. And I think one thing that I just want to highlight po mga Cavs, before buying cars, either you are a newcomer or... Um, old timer na permanent resident permanent citizen. citizen ka do your research you really need to do your research ano yung kotse ang gusto mo ano yung dinidream car mo then you ask yourself budget. budget dream car mo to pero kaya ba ng budget and once you have these questions answered po makap go to Ryan saan ka malatagpuan 550 Windmill Road Dartmouth po Carson hmm. Export ni hmm. look for Ryan yeah right. wala nang pang Ryan diyan wala, ako lang po. Sabi mo yung Ryan na pinakabata. Yan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, after you do your research, alam mo na yung kotse yung gusto mo. Alam mo na yung budget na gusto mo. Go to visit Ryan Pumaka. Um, um, Ryan is not just a sales rep, an ordinary sales rep. Ryan is helping kababayans po natin, mga newcomers na mag-guide ng maayos. Yes. And, and share information. Very real talk po mga si Ryan. And that's the reason why I'm here and invited him to to share some tips because nakikita ko yung puso ni Ryan sa mga kababayan natin. And the next thing is test drive the car. Test drive po, yes. So before you decide, wag kang ma-excite. Test drive the car. And like yung ginawa natin, we test this and we feel and ano, okay ba tong kotse na to? Okay siya, ka, okay siya i-drive kasi ganito, ganito. Then that's something that subjective siya eh. Subjective siya. So you need to test the drive and the requirements for testing the uh, test uh, road uh, test, drive, test drive. Nasabi na natin kanina, uh, you just need to have a driver license and you really drive this car. Pumaka hindi gaya sa Pilipinas. And lastly, pumaka is wag po kayong matakot magtanong. And that's why I highly recommend have Ryan as your car sales rep pumaka because you can ask questions. So yun, maraming maraming salamat pumaka and see you here in Canada. Thank you, Paul.